Brian Galeski with Able Distributors. Today, I'm excited to get into the next phase of the A2L changes, and we all know that's gonna be a lot. I've got one video out already, kind of an overview. There's gonna be much more to come, so if you wanna be part of it, subscribe. You'll get notifications every time I put out a video. So let's get into it. We carry JB refrigerant tools, gauges, stuff like that. We love them. They're built here locally. Their, their headquarters is right here uh, outside of Chicago. We love the brand. We love the quality that they bring. So we're gonna talk about what new items they have and what new to us. Some things we could have carried before, but we didn't. Some things now we have to carry with the A2L changes. Digital gauges, the smart Bluetooth. I really like these a lot. They come in a case that allows you to keep your hoses connected. I hate cases that make you disconnect your hoses every single time to put it back in a case. That to me is garbage. You'd throw the case away and never use it. I would never take the time to take my hoses off and roll them up. It's just not my style. Bluetooth, it goes to your phone, obviously has a digital gauge. You can scroll through all the refrigerants that are possible. It goes to your phone by the JB Go app. We'll have a link on that for that. You have wired sensors. You can upgrade to wireless. Now, the reason I like wires is, A, I like things that take standard batteries. You know that. I, I hate weird batteries. This takes three AA batteries. Everybody's got those in a truck. Super, super simple. For me in my world, the way my brain works, I don't want extra batteries to worry about. I want one device, one set of batteries. I don't want to have to worry that this sensor or that sensor is getting a low battery. To me, I like the wired option. But you can order, and they'll clip right on there, and they'll still go to your phone. They still go to this gauge. It's all Bluetooth. This is a really, really, really nice setup. Once you see it and touch it and feel it, the weight and the heft of this, and I think it's a really good price. So we're gonna have more on that too. And again, comes in a nice case, so you can leave the gauge hoses connected. I like that a lot. Replacement round. Now you might have a manifold set or two or three that you really like. And you're like, you know what? I don't need to buy the whole kit and caboodle. All I really need to do is spin in new gauges that show 410, 32, 454. That's all the stuff that we're gonna be dealing with. Yes, you should absolutely have that gauge set for 22, but most of us, you roll up onto a problem with a 22 system, you're gonna suggest replacing it, especially now. Of course, we're gonna have low loss hoses from JB. Love these things, it's the only way I would go. Now, if you're not gonna spin in new gauges and go that way, Another economical way, and I like these a lot, is just a simple two-valve brass. You've got a port for your adding refrigerant to, you know, to go to your jug. I guess you could pull a vacuum through it too. Then you have your hoses. And the beauty about this is you can put the hose front or back because these connections pivot. Simple, down and dirty. And again, these are the A2L. So they show 32, 410, and 454. Again, we still have older gauges in stock if you need them, that still show R22. And then for those of you that like a four valve, and I kind of like a four valve because I did pull a vacuum through my gauges. I know that there's other ways. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But we have the Zeppelin four valve set up. Again, we still have it with R22 showing on the gauges in stock. And then, of course, we have everything ready for A2L. So what's next? The adapters. So... Where did I put my adapters? We're gonna bring in the adapters for the refrigerant jug. So now the ports on the ACs and the ports on the manifolds, they're always all standard thread. The refrigerant jug that contains R32 and 454B have left-hand thread. So we're gonna bring in two adapters because a lot of guys would like it straight, a lot of guys would like it angled. So we're gonna have both. So whichever way you wanna go, and I guess some guys leave the refrigerant in a box. They might want to go one way. Some guys take the refrigerant jug out of the box and throw the box away. They might want to go angled. So whichever way you want to go. I've covered 
the four valve Zeppelin and the two valve brass. I like both those options. Now, some of the things that aren't new that we should have been doing all along that you should have in your van all along, one of them would be the Atlas scale. Now, again, with mini splits, heat pumps, putting an AC in cold weather, weighing in your charge and knowing how much to charge the homeowner for what you put in when you found a leak or something low on refrigerant, knowing how to use a scale and having a scale is important. That video is coming soon. I'm gonna show you everything about that scale, how to use it, how to set it up, how to use it for billing out refrigerant or how to use it to weigh in refrigerant on a new system. The Eliminator vacuum pump. I don't have this here. I'm gonna have Brad put a picture up right here. That is still the same vacuum pump we've had for years. A2L going into it. Again, you're not gonna use a vacuum pump for reclaiming. So in my mind, even if you had a leak in A2L refrigerant, you're gonna reclaim the refrigerant. The line set's gonna be empty. After you make the repair, then you're gonna pull a vacuum. I don't see the reason to change your vacuum pump yet, but we do have the Eliminator vacuum pump, both in the 6 CFM and the 4 CFM, so you got your choice there. Again, we still have the R22 gauges in stock, so if you want that to set up new to last you the rest of your life, good. Rapid recovery. Now, the difference between a 6 CFM and a 4 CFM pump, if you're pulling through a, a two valve, through a small hose, Going with 6 CFM, you're just wasting your money. You're never going to get it. Even if you have a four valve and you're using a half inch hose, getting a full 6 CFM through the Schrader valve, through your manifold, through your hoses is pretty difficult. So a rapid recovery, that's where you take a, a valve core re tool remover and you remove the valve core, hook up a large vacuum pump, hose directly from your vacuum pump to the unit. You put a micron gauge off the side. You don't go through your gauges. There's going to be a video coming soon on that too. Now, most of us, if you're dealing residential short line set and you're not in that big of a hurry, you can do it this way, but it's a big difference how deep you can go and how fast. So that video is coming soon. The recovery unit that we have, and there's a picture up here now, the F6 boost. It's already set up for A2L. It's already got the super efficient motor. It comes with a shoulder strap. It's set up for A2L. It's 20% faster than the last model and it's lighter. So it's a win-win. We still should be reclaiming R22. It's kind of worth its weight in gold as far as recycling it. 410, there's companies out there buying that too. Um, and the new refrigerant, we should be reclaiming this and setting it off to have it cleaned up and rejuvenated and recycled. So that's it. JB tools, just better, and they mean it. Everything I, I showed you here, I would use myself. I actually have JB tools in my vehicle right this minute. I like them. Video's coming soon on the scale, on the rapid recovery, so stay tuned. Have a great day. Brian Dolesky.